In this lesson, we are looking at advanced settings and customizations for Windows. So let's start by selecting some windows. I, I will uh, start with the windows in this bedroom. So they are selected. I will also select this and this other two. Then with that, I'll open the Windows Settings dialog. We have these settings here. Under uh, Preview and Positioning, we have these as the width and these as the height of the window. So this is the preview of that window in 3D. This is 2D elevation preview, this is 3D elevation preview, and this is the image. So down here we have a seal to story height of uh, 1000, and we have revealed to wall core. This is the distance from external face, rather from the, from the, the face of the wall to the face of uh, the window. So with this, we can adjust some settings here. We'll have a width of, uh, let's say for this, 1.5. And then seal to story height, because now we are working with the bedrooms, we need some privacy. So we'll have a 900 millimeter from the floor up to where the window is starting from. And then this dimension and this other dimension both should equate to 2.1 meters here we need we will have a 1.2 so that this plus this gives us 2.1 meters then we have settings for basic window settings we have basic window settings and this is the opening type for the main search let's say we choose to have a we can have any of these options fixed glass fixed search side ang we have side ang mirrored we have all these options for us to explore so let me use a fixed search we go to here we have other options for frame and search we have search options we have all these up to where we have uh, fixtures and fittings I'll start with the uh, sash and we have a uh, sash type so click on this then select this grid for the sash type then we have uh, this as the uh, width and the thickness of those grids then we have number of window panes vertically set here as 3 and horizontally set as four so vertically we had uh, let's have this as four and this as five then let's see how that looks click ok so that's how they look let's take a preview in the 3d window so this is it that's how they look so we get back here open the settings dialog again we have revealed to all under preview and settings this we should set it as a, as 50 then we click on this then activate a window seal we should have a seal for that window so this is the detailing for the window seal then settings again, then we activate a window bulb. Get back to this. We need to have a casing at the outside. In the inside, there is no casing. Don't have any sun shading elements. We have uh, options for floor plan and section views. 
So I'm not going to tamper with those. Just leave them the way they are. Then we have uh, dimension markers. We'll look at those in uh, another lesson. So I'll click on OK. And that's how to make customizations to, to Windows. So for example, we have an option like for these two, these are in the toilet area. So basically we'll have uh, this as very high up there. Also I'm planning to have a 600 by 600. Then we'll have this as 15. This as 50. Then under basic window settings, I'll choose to have a top hang. And uh, slash, I'd say we have a grid. So we'll have a 2 and 2. So this is how it looks. Here you can see it. Then we'll have a window seal. And I'll select this to have our settings for window board. And we'll have casing to the outside. So that is it. Then click OK. You see we have adjusted. With that you are able to to make any type of uh, customizations to uh, the windows. Well, let, let us look at this. Select this window. Open the window settings dialog. Then let's say we want to use another type of a window. Let's say we have this triple window 24. So click on it to select it. And this is how it looks in, uh, in preview. So we will be having now under window settings and openings, we'll be having a main search at the window. Then we'll have two others to the sides. So this is helpful when we want to have maybe one of the searches as um, fixed and then the others as, as um, side arm. So what you do is you'll be able now to specify for the one at the window to put it at as as fixed then main at side one will be side ang and the other one you will do side ang mirrored so that this is how these sashes are opening and we'll have uh, other settings for frame width and sash options so under sash options we can choose to have these sashes as uniform so that when you look at this preview, these three are of a uniform size. Then you can select to have a grid for them so that we have these as four and these as five. Four, this is two. So we have that. Yeah. So we have a window that looks like that. And we have other settings for fixtures and fittings like a window seal. And we have other settings for the window board and casing to the outside. So with that, let's click OK. And before that, we need to change some settings here. Like we have this as 900 seal to story height. And the reveal to wall core as 50, these as 1200, and these as 1800. So, okay. Let's take a preview in the 3D window. So, this is the window that we have been customizing. So, now, uh, so that we don't take a lot of time in this. So I'll just go ahead and uh, make necessary customizations to the other windows, then we'll uh, discuss.
So that's how to do advanced settings and customizations to our windows. And this marks the end of our lesson.